What is up everyone? Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Ahmed and in this channel I do Doctor Who and Tortured Reactions and today I'll be reacting to Doctor Who Season 4 Episode 10. But before we start I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who tuned in for the 2000 subscribers live stream. I really enjoyed my time there. I had so much fun um, interacting with everyone and answering uh, your questions and I'm definitely gonna do this um, in the future for sure. So. Without further ado, let's get going. What could possibly go wrong? Well, what could possibly go wrong in Doctor Who? Everything. Something is gonna go wrong. Oh, this is amazing. They couldn't find Tom and Jerry. Out of, all, out of all the archives, that's what, to, what you found. Thank you. Well, that's a mercy. Uh, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want it. Four hours of just sitting here. I'll tell you what. Talk. We'll have to talk to each other instead. Yeah. That's fun. Maybe it clicks later. See, they're having fun. Chicken or beef? I think it's both. Is it? That's awesome. So, can I have some? Tonight, you see, bombarded by the sun by that project. Actually, I'm the first. They're still, they're still using projectors, and I don't know what year this is. <laughs> Should we take a look outside? Oh, can they? It's a hundred percent ectonic out there. We'd be vaporized. Yeah, no, that's just a lie. Give you a couple of minutes. Go on. Something so dark, like it was running. Running which way? Towards us. Oh damn! That's that's scary. If you could close the door. No one can survive, or they say. They're they're panicking. It only takes one person to panic. No one said anything. Yeah, mass hysteria. Someone's knocking on it. There's someone outside. It would destroy any living thing in a split second. It is it impossible really to be outside? Where did he get the the stethoscope from? He's full of surprises. He's truly a doctor. <laughs> someone's uh, someone's getting in. Why is he not or they why are they not answering? Well there there it is. Why is she freaking out? Oh it's coming for me! It's coming for me! Oh she is absolutely delusional. Oh my god! There's no light, so it means every everything is intact. Nothing got in. Oh my god! Wait, they were exposed. They were exposed to the light, so but nothing happened. It's inside. It's within her. Is it, maybe. Sky. Just, maybe it was trying to survive and it got into her. Just want you to turn around. Please. They can be a jump scare. I freaking hate jump scares. Oh damn! It's inside her. You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. 
My name she's is she's My learning. Name she's learning. What is that learning? What is that learning? Yep. Copying. Wow. <laughs> wow, truly. Shut up. Oh my god, just shut up. She will predict the future, I guess, or the future actions. She's gonna say things before you, they say it. Bananas. <laughs> the Medusa Cascade. Shamble, bobble, dibble, dooble. Oh, Doctor, you're so handsome. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> He's having fun. Shut up, shut up, just shut up. Yeah, she's creepy. She is creepy. <laughs> yes, he is. Shut up, she's, she's still copying. We should throw her out. He, now she's learning emotions. I think she's gonna become you know, a full human who can speak, who can have emotions, ex ex uh, express them. Well, they'll do it gladly. Okay. Oh my god. So what? She was a different person back there. Damn straight. That's it. Bottom line. <laughs> Man, the human mind works in mysterious ways. Beautiful writing, by the way. Beautiful. Oh man. Oh no. That sense is so freaking creepy, man. She's just copying the doctor. What are you doing? She's still doing him. Doctor, it's Yeah. She's only copying you. They're gonna throw them out. Why me? Why are you doing this? Because he's clever. He's clever. He said that. She's trying to learn from the best. And the doctor is the best. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh, damn. She finished the sentence before. She spoke fast. Oh, she now she can speak. I'm ahead of you. Look at that. I'm ahead of you. Did you see? <gasps> she spoke before he did. Oh my god. No, he's stuck. Doctor, what's happening? He is stuck now. I think it's moved. I think it's moved. It's... Is that you? Yes. She's lying. Yes. It's me. Yes. She's lying. I'm coming back. So did I. You did it. You idiots. You're not seeing the whole story. You're not seeing the whole picture. You idiots! Oh my god. Oh my god, him too? Alonzi? That's his voice, true. Yes, get out! Please don't die, please don't die! No, not you! No! Why did you sacrifice yourself? Why did she have to sacrifice herself? I said it was her. 
You freaking liar. You shut the hell up. You shut up. All of you. Except for Didi. Didi is good. I, I think that's her name. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, they've, they've, they've been traumatized, especially him. Damn, that was quick! Man, that was such a great episode. Um, this reminds me of that one movie, I think, uh, they made in, in the 80s, where the whole movie took place in just one room. There was like a lot of people talking uh, with each other and there was just one guy who was saying uh, he was immortal and uh, I, forget, I forgot the name of the movie but that was such a great movie and this reminded me of that. Alright so that's my reaction to Doctor Who season 4 episode 10 called Midnight. Um, I've heard people talking about this episode saying it's a, a classic which for me, I think it's a classic because for an episode to take place in just one uh, room or one setting, um, it takes incredible writing and it takes an incredible, um, you know, production from e from everyone. And the actors have been brilliant. The writers uh, are fantastic. The, the dialogue itself was amazing. And it kind of portrayed... <clears throat> how fragile humanity is and um, how quickly people can you know can change their minds and can turn in, turn into monsters um, I mean I bet these people never thought of killing anyone in their lives before but under pressure and under uh, incredible circumstances anyone can do anything and that's so scary, actually. My favorite scene in this episode were the one um, where the doctor was trying to convince them, you know, not not to kill her or not to throw her away or throw her out. And of course, um, humanity doesn't mean uh, fragility because we had two people, um, actually, they were listening to reason, then they were using their minds. Uh, I think her name is Didi and the hostess so I like that too I also enjoyed how everyone um, from that cast from from these characters got their own moments kind of um, and they really made you care about the characters themselves I mean these guys are just gonna show up for just this one episode but I can't remember every single one of them and there is something very special about each one and something very unique. So though that's a that's a credit to uh, that's a credit to the actors themselves, uh, the casting, um, and this the writing and the dialogue in general. Um, I really really enjoyed this episode. I think it's one of the best um, in season four, just because it kept you at the edge of your seat the entire time and. Um, I love these kind of um, episodes. So overall, a magnificent episode, probably top three best of the season, uh, just for the fact that it all happened in one setting, and that, for me, is very, very, very difficult to do. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Doctor Who and Tortured reactions. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.